likely ingredient in any series of Beatles about is the front garden outrage. Well, Dawn Aldous came home to find all her furniture on the lawn. <laughs> Here's Dawn now. Is that your mouth? You're joking. Excuse me, what's going on? Morning, missus. <laughs> Who are you? Oh dear. Oh dear. Bailiff's missus. I beg your pardon? Bailiff's missus. Yeah, where's your... what's it? Where is she? Oh dear. <laughs> We've had a court order, missus. Oh, for who? I want to see the thing you've got. Oh, you have to speak to Mr. Milton about that when he comes back, Mrs. Milton's get here now. Well, he's around somewhere. Yeah. He's, been, he's been at the betting shop, that's all. He'll be back in a minute. <laughs> yeah, you get him there. Well, I'll just... I'll uh... tell you something. You have got something. I know it's not very pleasant, this missus, but we have a job to do. I know what this is about, a car that we is have it? never, ever owned. I have phoned Drake, the bailiff who took over this before. Oh, no. It's our chief bailiff. Oh, Mrs. Mrs. Cook. No, I am I'm not Peter Mrs. Milton. Cook. I am Mrs. Aldous. Mrs. Aldous, yes, where? Yes, this is my house. This is your house. You want my driving license? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. I just, I've been given this to... We do have... We do have the right, and you were sent a letter about this. I was sent a load of letters I've been sent. London, Gravesend, Medway. This is Mr. Cook's house. He has never lived here, and I am sick to death of it. I understand, you know, I understand the situation. Stop putting my furniture in your van. Whether you're Mr. Cook or not is immaterial. We have a warrant. from the house that isn't Mr. Cook's. Well, we have got the, the authority to remove these goods in connection with these parking offences. But they are not Mr. Your... Cook's. It isn't Mr. Cook's property. It is my property. But the car, I believe, uh, JYK1K, is registered to this property. It is not registered to this property. It's registered to somebody in Sittingbourne. That's your, that's oh, your car, that is it? That is my car, yes. Right. Would you like to check the registration number of it? <laughs> this has been going on for so long. There are 11 outstanding warrants. And the thing is building up now. What we've got is the parking fine care. of 18 pounds. It has pounds. nothing to do with me. Well, we've got 18 pounds and there's a 15 pound bailiff's fee. Will you there's tell him to stop 25... putting my furniture in the van? We have to take it now. If, if you are not taking it. If you <laughs> will get it back before the auction. You are joking. I'm not this one here. Wait a minute, Dawn. He seems to have got it. Is it jam, Malcolm? Dawn, we can't even stop. Wait a minute. I'm not taking it out. I'll have to whack it with a crowbar. Dawn, wait, 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 Mrs. Aldous, look, if you could just come and sort this out with me, perhaps we might be able to sort some arrangement out. I have told you I am not Mrs. Cook, Mr. Cook. Right, OK. I understand you're not Mrs. Cook or Mr. Cook. Now we're bringing back the car that's caused all the trouble. The very car she doesn't own. No right. Now, these chairs, how long have you had them? Yes, uh, two years. Two years. Go on here. I'm from the Met the Metropolitan Police. They're removing my property. Oh, well, that's nothing to do with me. Well, I just brought a car back and thought. Right. I brought a car back and thought. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got to deliver the car up and, and, and collect the, uh, the outstanding fee of 283 quid. It's not my car. It's never been my car. It's never been my husband's car. Well, that's not mine. That's not my problem. Well, it's not my car. You can do what you like with it. You can leave it there. But you, you revered it. You're not getting money from me, and it isn't my car. Well, I'll take a check if you haven't got the cash. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not my fault if these lot have upset you, you know. I mean, I've just brought the hey, car back. Hey, you, Phil! 
Hey? How would you feel? Well, I'm just in a job of delivering cars back to people. Deliver the car, but it's not. You can leave it up the road. I've delivered it, haven't I? All right. So would you say this is all this? Remember how she parked the car? Well, meet our traffic warden. <laughs> oh, right. Well, I'm sorry, but you know it's... Uh... Just don't put another parking ticket on it. Well, you know it's illegally parked. <laughs> Mrs. Aldous. Don't, don't remove Mrs. the stuff. Mrs. Aldous. Uh, well, you've been a bit unreasonable. Do you this think I'm trying, I'm trying to help you here. What do you think? Is that, what do you think is reasonable about coming home and finding my house on my front garden? Well, it's I don't think that's awful, very reasonable, would it? Sir, these are mine. Yeah. Mr. Aldous, I've had to issue you with a ticket for the van. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've had to issue you with a ticket for the van. Yes, but when I get that, I should say that you told me not to move the f***ing thing. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If, you, if we could get this stuff out, we'll probably find it. No. Well, get it out! Can you manage it? <laughs> I admit, it's not a very good time, right? But I would like to... Uh... Well, if I did, I'd have to bring it back. Can we get the neighbours gossiping? Shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get this van unloaded and then probably we'll find your phone at the back of it somewhere? Well, I guess it's in the van somewhere. Oh, look! <laughs> it's a policeman now. Sure? Let's sort it out, Bill. Aha, it's Sergeant Beadle to investigate this little disturbance. Oh, go away, will you? Just go away. I've never driven the f***ing car. Well, if you do, I'll be away. Right, what's going on here, please? Hey? What's going on here? I'll sort that out. Excuse me, who's house is this? Mine. Would you come here, please? <laughs> What's the problem? It's not to do with me, it's to do with this lady. Can you just explain that to me, can't you? I understand. Would you please, we've had complaints. Well, you've had for two years that you mm -hmm. get into parking fines mm -hmm. for this car here. So it's been parked for both three roads in London, apparently. Mm -hmm. I have said, first of all, started sending them back, saying that the car didn't belong to us, it never had belonged mm -hmm. to us. Then and we got a summons from one of the courts. And again, I wrote to them and said that it wasn't our car. Then it went to Dartford Magistrates Court, and the same thing happened. They wanted the money for the payment of the fines. I explained that the car had never been ours, we've never owned it, and Mr Cook has never lived here. I see. They were going to see food up to the day, so I went to see the <laughs> As my name was the state of 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 the Right, OK. So I think what we need to do is to just wait until after lunch. And once we've done that, we can establish precisely what we're doing.